dangerous armed standoff tonight in southern Syria with U.S. and Russian forces warning each other to stand aside. In a rare show of force, a company of U.S. Marines carried out an air assault backed by artillery in the southern Syrian desert in what U.S. defense officials are calling a stern message to Russia, back off. That message ignored as the leaders of Iran, Russia and Turkey met in Tehran today. A last-minute effort to hammer out a ceasefire failed as Russian President Vladimir Putin teamed up with Iran's President Hassan Rouhani, who said the fight in Syria should continue until all extremists are uprooted, and then called for the U.S. to leave the country. The illegal presence and intervention by America in Syria which has led to the continuation of instability, must immediately end. We consider any assault on Idlib to be a dangerous escalation of the conflict in Syria. Airstrikes by Russia and the regime have already begun against civilian areas. Idlib province is the last remaining rebel stronghold, home to three million people, nearly half of them civilians displaced from other parts of Syria, along with an estimated 10,000 hardcore al-Qaeda fighters. <laughs> A Russian-backed assault has international aid groups and the Pentagon warning of massive civilian casualties and a flood of refugees across the border into Turkey. President Trump tweeted a warning on Monday, quote, the Russians and Iranians would be making a grave humanitarian mistake to take part in this potential human tragedy. Hundreds of thousands of people could be killed. Elsewhere in Syria, a separate military standoff. Twice in the past week, Russia has notified U.S. forces of its intent to enter the American-controlled zone around a U.S. garrison used to train anti-ISIS fighters. The U.S. has warned Russian forces not to move any closer to an agreed line of demarcation. The U.S. military is prepared to back up its warning. Last February, U.S. helicopter gunships and jets killed roughly 300 Russian mercenaries as they approached another U.S. military base in Syria. The U.S. still has 2,000 troops in Syria. Brett? The Syrian Observatory for Human Rights says there have been more than 30 raids on Saturday, killing at least five civilians. A rescue base belonging to the White Helmets Group has reportedly been targeted. The strikes come despite Turkey's calls for a ceasefire during diplomatic talks in Tehran. The UN has warned the Assad regime against an all-out assault on Idlib.